My 30-year-old son Blake has been on a horrible mental roller coaster for the last two and a half years. And now his mind is currently ruining his modeling career. I always have a symptom every single day. I have a friggin' symptom every day. I know, Blake. You can brainwash yourself. Blake has seen several mental professionals. You will not accept the diagnosis of OCD, general anxiety disorder, and depersonalization disorder. How can anxiety or OCD be like this debilitating? I feel like you guys are maybe missing red flags. Honey, you haven't done anything different to change things. Don't you think I want to though? Right now, he truly believes that he is developing schizophrenia. When this first started, Blake would reach out to doctors online. And if he didn't hear what he wanted to hear, he started making appointments with other doctors. Blake will spend hours every day researching illnesses. I Google all these disorders and I can take at least one or two symptoms for maybe all of them, each Blake, of them. I can take a symptom from how I feel sometimes and think it's cancer or something. He will watch videos on schizophrenia, depersonalization disorder. He is always trying to convince me that he has all these illnesses. He's thought he's had leukemia, lymphoma, and just the other day, he told me he thinks he's bipolar. Blake wipes me out with his false beliefs. It really makes me frustrated. I feel like I have to be there for him 24 seven. I try not to enable Blake, but I feel like I have to reassure him everything's okay. If I'm not getting reassurance, that's when I'm having a nervous breakdown. I'm getting older. I've got to take care of my health. I know, and you don't think that you kills know, you me? You know, you already like... lost your dad. Blake was 12 years old when his father passed away. Blake was always scared of dying. After his dad died, it escalated. If this doesn't change for Blake, I just see the same vicious cycle. I feel like it will be Groundhog's Day every single day. Well, Kim says even though she's constantly reassuring Blake that he's 100% healthy, he refuses to believe her. So here's what he has to say. I can't accept that I don't have schizophrenia right now. I think there's red flags being missed by my family members and my doctors. I spend 10 hours a day researching schizophrenia, bipolar, because I genuinely think I have it. My obsessions completely changed me as a person. I feel robotic almost. I feel like I'm most at calm when I'm researching, watching the same videos to try to comfort me. My diagnosis with anxiety, OCD, and depersonalization disorder is making my life a living hell. I 100% think I would be a lot further in my modeling career if it wasn't for this. My issues really magnified a few years ago when I came across a lump on my groin. I was totally convinced I had lymphoma. The other day you were sick, you had a cough, you thought you had lung cancer. Yeah, is that not true? I did. I was... And then you thought you looked jaundice. My anxiety attacks present themselves, I just break down crying for like 20 minutes. It's the worst feeling in the world. I just feel like my life's almost over. I was having lunch with my mom and I thought I heard like the fastest, quietest little whisper say my name in my head. I instantly thought I had schizophrenia. I have a lot of guilt in me because of this. I'm bringing everyone down. I don't want you to feel guilty. I just want you to get help and be joyful again. No one could really understand what I'm going through because they're not going through it. My agency in New York is pushing me to get over there, but I am scared to go. What if I have a psychotic episode? My biggest fear is I will truly be diagnosed with schizophrenia, all my dreams will be shattered, and I will end up in a mental hospital for the rest of my life. Okay, it's good to meet you. Thank you too, Dr. Phil. How do you feel about being here? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm anxious. I have thoughts that you're gonna see me and think I'm psychotic, and you're gonna, I just fear the worst every time I see a mental health expert, and. Yeah. What do you think's going on here? He's a hypochondriac. It started when he was younger, but it has just escalated in the last two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And um, I really feel like he's brainwashed himself from researching 24 seven. He falls asleep to videos on every mental health I issue have, there is. I have so many weird symptoms though. So how's that being a hypochondriac when I'm feeling these symptoms? That's what I feel like you guys don't understand. We do well, no, well, 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 if you spend so much time with Dr. Google, if he's your best friend, then you've had to look up hypochondria, right? Mm -hmm. So she's exactly describing mm -hmm. what you're saying. So why are you arguing that? I just feel like being a hypochondriac can't cause the symptoms that I'm experiencing.